Given a virtual environment, we randomly sample a set of valley foothills as the nodes of our roadmap. We connect a pair of nodes in the roadmap with an edge representing a motion clip when you can transform it within a given tolerance to have its first and last footprints coincided with the foot toes at the nodes, respectively. Whenever a new foot toe is sampled, we try to connect the corresponding node to its neighbors to construct the roadmap. Once the roadmap is constructed, the path planning problem can be regarded as a minimum cost path problem in a directed graph. Given the start and goal positions, we search the roadmap for a minimum cost path from the start to the goal. The path gives a sequence of input motion clips and that of target footprints. We enhance the target footprints. We first modify the target foot holes to straighten up the path. Then we adjust the target footprints locally to make them more similar to the original footprints. Here is another example. Our final task is to generate realistic locomotion from the sequence of input motion clips and that of target footprints. We can formulate this task as a motion retargeting problem. To solve this problem, we first estimate the body trajectory of the unknown target motion to assemble an initial guess. With this initial guess, we retarget the input motion clips for the target footprints to obtain a desired motion. Now we show the capability of our planning scheme to cope with a difficult environment by using various motions. The terrain has complex features such as crevice and a small stream. We add motions, broad jumping and running to our motion repertoire. We prefer running motion to the others when a local geometry has a small height variation. We can observe that such motions are properly used for overcoming the environment. Our next experiment is for an environment with obstacles. The room has several pieces of furniture as obstacles. We connect a pair of nodes with an edge representing motion clip when the conservative volume swept by the motion clip does not intersect with the rectangular bounding box of any obstacle.
In the final experiment, we process a sequence of queries in a highly constrained environment to demonstrate the effectiveness of our planning scheme. We have prepared 58 motions such as forward walking, lateral walking, backward walking, jumping, turning, and hurdling. In this query, low preference to jumping results in a motion sequence that includes jumping and curved walking rather than double jumping. Here, backward walking is selected because there is not enough space to turn around. The final query is to find a sequence of motions over the marble columns, which are not connected with each other and irregularly distributed. Unlike traditional path planning schemes for human navigation, our planning scheme seeks a sequence of discrete footprints rather than a continuous moving path. Thus, such a sequence can be obtained successfully.